Sagittarius Lachan here, Psychic Love Coach, and this is going to be another love reading for you. This is a timeless reading, Sagittarius. Whenever you come across this reading, this is when the messages are meant for you. To book a private reading with me, visit my website, mypsychiclovecoach.com. You can also find other ways to get in touch with me through the description box below. Don't forget to thumbs up and like this reading. Also comment, subscribe to my channel if you are new, subscribe to my channel if you are returning and you have not subscribed yet. All right, Sagis, let's go ahead and go into your reading here. I see that, that there was some travel. I see there was some travel here. This could have been an important trip or you want to go travel to see Someone important, an important woman. The rider in the ship. This indicates travel. This could have been travel by car. Or it could have been more long distance travel. Somewhere outside of your town, your city, wherever you live. And there was a lot of joy when it comes to this trip. There was a lot of fun. There was romance when it came to this trip. This woman here, she looks very seductive or there was a lot of seduction going on in this situation. This could have been a trip for physical pleasure. We also have here that there could have been a woman who revealed something, who revealed something, or you found out something about this woman or this woman found something out. The snake is sent for a woman who is like a businesswoman, a woman who's powerful, a woman who... Um, has her stuff together. An attractive woman who has her things together. I see here a younger male here as well. This is also someone who, there's something going on about his legs. Like that. Casual, someone who has an optimistic attitude. And then we also have this person here with the snake who may be a little tricky or maybe a little sneaky. Take the genders however they resonate with your situation. This is a general reading. There is this important trip that has happened here. Now it looks like you're leaving space for this person. There could be some separation, especially separation and communication. But I do see here from these two queens that there has been some gossip. These are queens, so maybe there's been two women talking. You could be talking to someone, a friend, or someone could be talking about you behind your back. I feel like you likely know about this. We do have the writer and that speaks of messages coming from afar. We have the key and that speaks of things being revealed. Things may be revealed about this person or revealed about this writer person. There is an energy, once again, of leaving space. It looks like there has been a break in communication or there has been some kind of disappointment, some kind of letdown in this situation. You could feel like there's some unrequited love or there can even be energies of manipulation, somebody being manipulative, somebody keeping things to themselves. I do feel like this was a visit, again, for physical purposes with this high priestess here in the reverse energy. And this is speaking of someone who enjoys sex. This is speaking of someone who enjoys sex with perhaps many people. This can also be speaking of sex without emotions, without deep emotions here. I feel like this person is bringing forth a need of yours that's not being met. I don't know why that just came to me. 
You could also be separating yourself from this person because perhaps you think this person is not the one for you. And you know that the right one can't come in if you are still energetically attached to this person. This is someone from the past. And this could be the recent past or this can be the distant past. But this is someone from your past. So this is not someone who is around you at present. Nevertheless... This person can return. I'm also feeling an energy of looking back at the past. Which we'll really get into in a minute. There could be an age difference between you and this person as well. This person can be older than yourself or you can be significantly older than this person. Some kind of age difference for some of you. You are taking steps to make things happen in your love life. You're being proactive. So you could be meeting people to date. You could be changing the way you are thinking. So you have a better chance to find the person that you want or build the type of relationship that you want. I'm hearing some of you are changing your, your wardrobe. You're just putting in the effort. Some of you could be changing your wardrobe. This Glam It Up card. We have this Glam It Up card here, speaking about looking good, being stylish. So that can also be what steps you're taking. You're getting nice things for yourself, you're looking good. And I feel like you are also leveling up in your, not your personality, but the way that you approach dating and how you present yourself. You do have faith that love is coming. You do have faith that love is coming. Now, I'm also picking up something. I'm picking up that there has been this emptiness here, this person, lack of their presence. And for some of you, this person can return. For some of you, this person can return. And this will be very surprising. This will be very surprising for you. And you may be hesitant to let this person back in. You may be hesitant to let this person back in. You are becoming more aware of your dating patterns. You are becoming aware of what has not been working for you in dating. And now, again, you are doing something different. You're changing your patterns to get a different outcome. If we keep doing the same thing we've always done, we're gonna get the same thing we've always gotten. It's like that definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Now you're changing that. You're looking at things in a different way, you're going about things in a different way and you're looking really good while doing it. I see here attracting what it is that you want. And look, the Cupid's arrow is shooting right to you. You're gonna be feeling very abundant. This could have to do with money as well, or success. But you will be vibrating at a very high frequency. You'll have a positive attitude, a positive mindset about the situation, and that mindset is going to allow you to attract what it is that you want. Let's go over here to this tarot. With this Queen of Cups here, and then we have this woman holding a heart. I'm feeling as though you have been really in touch with your feelings lately. I'm also feeling like you could be one who wears their heart on their sleeves, or you are one who's just very giving, loving, caring, and that's the energy that you approach connections with. Again, becoming more in touch with your emotions. I'm also hearing, hearing healing your emotions. The Queen of Cups is loving, compassionate, psychic, self-sacrificing. She has deep psychic insights. Make sure to pay attention to your intuition. You may not be really going in the direction that your intuition is leading you in. You may not be following your intuition with this High Priestess in the reverse. 
caring for others, but forgetting to take care of yourself. I feel like some of you have been putting others and their happiness or their well-being above yours. And for those of you who do that, now it's time for you to be selfish and get what it is that you want so you won't get more of this Ace of Cups in the reverse energy where you are disappointed in love. Trust your intuition, a deep love of family and friends. Follow your heart. You could be spending more time with family and friends now. That could be what is making you feel happy, making you feel good. We have here the Six of Cups in the reverse, and then we have the Garden and the Gates. I feel like these two cards are connected here. Because the Six of Cups is in the reverse, and then we also have this blast from the past. So these are two cards of the past. These are two cards of nostalgia, looking back at the past. The Six of Cups in the reverse can be speaking of holding on to the past. You could be holding on to someone from the past. This speaks of holding on to the past. This also speaks of, I'm feeling like for some of you, you could be looking back at what you have always wanted when it comes to relationships. For example, wanting marriage and a family and children. And you haven't reached that point yet. For some of you, I'm feeling fear or thinking that your time is going to run out. This is especially for those who are 30 and up. I would say mid-30s and up. For some of you, this is because of the choice of relationships or the people that you have been involved with. Why this has not happened in that way that you wanted to yet. This also speaks of temperance in the reverse. This says that you could be very impatient. If temperance stands for patience, you can want things to happen now, either with a person or in general in your love life. You want things to happen now. I'm feeling like there was an imbalance. Temperance can also stand for balance. There has been imbalance in your relationships. And I feel like there has been balance because, imbalance because other people that you've been involved with have been manipulative. So they've been putting themselves first. They've been putting themselves first. With this trip here, it could also be that this travel reveals how manipulative or tricky this person is. This could bring about a betrayal. You can realize who this person really is by their traveling to you or by you traveling to them. This six of cups here, this temperance energy in the reverse can also speak of Overindulgence, overindulgence, overindulgence of food, alcohol, especially alcohol, drugs. This garden in the gate is catching my attention because in this card, this person here, in this card, this, this girl here, she is looking at what it is that she really, really wants. She's looking at, you know, greener pastures, what it is that she really, really wants. There are all these wonderful opportunities available to her, but she's feeling like she's not able to take them. She's not able to get to those possibilities that look so great to her because of the garden. Excuse me, because of the gate. She wants to get to the garden, but the gate is closed. It's unavailable to her. And the interesting thing is this little girl here, she has the key around her neck. And it's also interesting that we have this child here on both of these cards. And I'm getting chills too. I'm getting chills. She has the key around her neck. So she has everything that she needs to go to the other side. She's just hesitant, not doing it. She doesn't know that she can just open the gate. You may be feeling like you want either a certain person or a type of relationship. But you may feel like it's unavailable to you, but know that it's not. It's not unavailable to you. You have the skills, you have the tools to make that happen. 
I just heard don't give up. And then I look down and I see have faith in your dreams. With this Ace of Cups in the reverse, when it comes to a particular connection, or in general, there are two different situations I'm seeing here. For some of you, this is speaking of in general. For others of you, this is speaking of a particular connection. I do see here some unrequited love or feeling unwanted, feeling unloved, feeling unfulfilled. The great thing is powerful change is coming. Very powerful change is coming. The five of wands in reverse here. The five of wands in reverse shows you coming out of conflict. There was a lot of passion in this connection or you had a lot of passion to go after what it is that you want. The ace of wands in the traditional tarot, it has just this huge wand on the card which can stand for a penis so there could have once again been a sexual connection between you and this person this seemed like something that had a lot of exciting energy behind it also a lot of passion as well a new beginning in a connection this could have been a newer connection we have here the fool. So this could have been something new. Also, you taking a leap of faith with this person. You didn't know what was going to happen, but things seem fiery. Things seem exciting. There was a good opportunity here. So you went ahead and took it. Back to this five of wands here. The five of wands in the upright stands for conflict. It stands for conflict. You are coming out of the conflicts. It's great because we have here attracting what you want and positivity here. An abundant mindset, abundance in money, abundance in love, abundance in romance here. This is also saying to me that it's important for you to focus on the things that are meaningful to you, like your goals, as well as having peace and harmony in your life. Because this card is in the reverse, you can also be someone who doesn't like to be involved in conflicts. You don't like to be involved in conflicts. I'm looking at this and it says, walk away from drama unless the situation is really worth your time, then stand up for yourself. Very ambitious people. There was a lot of ambition when it came to a relationship or finding a relationship, the right one. Because this is in the reverse, I do feel like you are somebody who walks away from drama. Perhaps you haven't stood up for yourself a lot in the past. You could be more likely to just leave a situation without really dealing with it, especially if it deals with some kind of confrontation. Communication is key. It's really important for you to communicate yourself, your wants, your needs, your expectations, whatever this is for you moving forward. The conflict is ending. You're coming out of that conflict. This also resonates with the judgment card in the reverse. So with the judgment card in the upright, you're looking at your situation and you're making a decision on how to move forward, on what should be done. Because it's in the reverse, you are having difficulties making a decision or perhaps you are just not making a decision. You're choosing to stay in the same place. This separation going on could be something that is very hard or even something that is unwanted. At the same time, it's something that is outside of your control. 
which brings conflicts. However, even though you can't change what another person does, you can always change the way you respond and react to a situation. There are lessons to be learned here. And there is a great opportunity to do something different. Look at the bigger picture. Look at the bigger picture. What is this situation teaching you? How are you able to do things different? What lessons are you able to bring into your love life moving forward that's going to bring about better results for you? That's what the question is. What I really like here is that with this judgment in the reverse, with this five of wands in the reverse, you were staying still. You weren't really taking action. Again, you didn't want this separation to happen. It was out of your control. There was a lack of confrontation here. But now, Sagittarius, there's change coming. You are communicating. You are standing up for yourself. This emperor energy here on the end is you. Yes, this could stand for somebody coming into your life, a strong male coming into your life. You could be this queen of cups or you can be involved with this queen of cups and you could be the emperor. Just take this as it resonates. I feel like this is also your energy or it could be both. Someone new can come in for you. This being your energy, where as you were once staying still, now you're taking control. Whereas before, you would just let things go or walk away or ignore them or go someone. Now you are standing up for yourself and you're taking control. And you're saying, you know what? This is my turn. It's my turn. This is my time. You're making a decision. You're becoming decisive. I'm noticing this sword here. I'm thinking of the Ace of Swords. You're being decisive making a decision. You're being clear cut, straightforward. You're thinking with your head instead of your heart. Before you were thinking with your heart and it was bringing forth a lot of emotions. Now you're seeing things in a much more logical way and you're thinking with your head. Logic and organization will increase your success. Take charge of the situation. You are taking charge. Accept a leadership role, structure and discipline. I just heard before, some of you have let the other person be in control or let others in your past relationships be in control. Now you have strength. Now you have strength and courage. You have the courage to stand up for yourself. You have the courage to say, you know what? No, I want things to change and they're about to. That's what you're doing. There's expansion coming. You're powerful now. You're more powerful. There's expansion. The angels have also been working with you. They have been working with you. Giving you that strength. Archangel Michael, giving you that strength. Powerful change is coming. Things are shifting. Things are changing for the better. Know that that is happening. Look at the bigger picture. Look at the bigger picture. Again, what is it that this is meant to teach you? What is, the, what is it that this is meant to show you? And have faith in your dreams. Now, when you're looking at the bigger picture, Sagittarius, don't focus on the little details of what's going on now. Don't focus on the minute details, the small things that make up the bigger picture. And if you're unsure, Use your intuition. What does your intuition say? There are wonderful new beginnings coming to you. And have faith in your dreams that they are going to manifest. I know that you're thinking that something is not available to you. I know that you are looking at a situation and saying, I really want this to happen, but it's not happening. Is it ever going to happen? What it is that's best for you is going to manifest for you. And this have faith in your dreams card is saying, 
you will get what you want. You will get what you want, Sagittarius. So there's no need to worry. There's no need to fret about will this ever happen or look back at the past. Focus on the future because powerful change is coming now that you have this strength. All right, let's get your final message here. Well, okay. And this was the last card that came out for you to have faith in your dreams. So it is just a confirmation to me that, you know what, everything's working out in divine ways. Dear Sagittarius, over here, there is no mystery for us to unravel as we know intimately how connected we all are, how the web of creation works, and how spirit is in every aspect of life from the invisible to the visible. But it's impossible for humans to comprehend the complexities of how things actually work because the most important threads in the tapestry don't make sense in the dimension you live in. That said, oh, I'm getting chills. That said, can you feel the importance of these currents of energy that bring events together in miraculous ways? Isn't that what we have been talking about? Isn't that what we have been talking about? You can't understand with your mind, but you can know with your heart and your soul, with your intuition. I'm getting crazy chills here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but look, you probably can. Look at those chills. Trust that even though you don't know the how, the what, or the why, we do. Surrender to the mystery. We were just talking about that with this full card. Surrender to the mystery. There are wonderful things coming to you passionate new beginnings. Have faith that the unseen world is watching you with loving eyes as spirit weaves your life's mysterious and beautiful tapestry in glorious technicolor. Loving you so much as always. All right, Sagittarius, good reading. Thumbs up and like this reading. Comment, subscribe to my channel. If you're new, subscribe to my channel. If you are returning and you have not subscribed yet, good job. Good job, Sagittarius. You are moving into a wonderful place. You are stepping up. You are going in the right direction and you should be very proud of the changes that you have made and very excited about the changes that are to come. Thumbs up, like this reading, comment, subscribe. If you would like to book a private reading with me, visit my website, mypsychiclovecoach.com. Check out your sun, moon, rising videos. You can also check out the sign that's in your seventh house as well as your Venus sign. Love you guys, and I will see you here soon. Bye for now.